Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're talking about the new Windows app from Windows 11 23H2. Yeah, you heard it right. We have a new app that is called Windows. And in this video, we're going to do a quick overview of this app and what it can do. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one from the TechBased channel. So let's begin with the video. So as a quick introduction to the Windows app, Windows app is basically the place where you have access to Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 300. 165 Microsoft DevBox, remote desktop services, and remote PCs. So this app is not meant for the normal customer because you will also be able to use this app only if you have a work or school Microsoft account. But of course, if you have that, I'm going to show you how to install this app really quickly. Of course, you just need to open up the Microsoft Store and then just search for the Windows app. You can see the first result and then you're going to have the install button and you can install it really quickly because the app is not that big in size. Now I'm just going to open the app really quickly to show you something. Basically, if you open the Windows app and you don't have a school or work account, you cannot sign in at the moment. Of course, this says you can also sign in with a personal account, but as I've tried so far, you cannot sign in with a personal account. So if I'm just going to try to sign in with my email address, you're going to notice that we cannot connect right now. We couldn't find a work or school account with that email address. And of course, if we cannot sign in, I'm just going to show you some screenshots of how the app looks. If you have a school or work account, and you can see here the app interface. The app is pretty nicely created for Windows 11. We have a left side sidebar with rounded corners, the Windows 11 experience altogether, so that is pretty nice. Of course, the app is still in preview because it just launched on the Microsoft Store. You have a home tab, devices, apps, and also settings. And as you can see, in the center, you have pin devices. We can have access, as I've said, to Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, Remote Desktop Experience, and more. And you can also pin certain apps that you're using daily on your day-to-day -day work. As you can see, you can pin software like Office or Microsoft Edge. You can basically access Windows across multiple different services and remote PCs from a single place and pin your favorites you access the most. And you can also quickly switch between accounts if you have multiple work or school accounts. Also, there are many features to enhance the remote experience as Microsoft states, such as multiple monitor support, custom display resolutions, dynamic display resolution and scaling, device redirections such as webcams, audio storage devices and printers, also Microsoft Teams optimizations. And Microsoft also provides more info about what devices you can connect to and from and you're going to have a table on the screen to see how that works basically and of course to connect to windows 365 for example you're just going to have to install that from the microsoft store and set up with your microsoft school work account of course this is pretty much the windows app so far in windows 11 the app i think can also be installed on windows 10 but as i said before this is an app that is not meant for the normal user it's an app that is meant for organizations or work accounts or for school accounts so this is pretty much all there is to it right now because it is in the preview stage of course if you have a work or school account, you can test it out on your computer and see wherever you can connect to remote desktops, Windows 365, Azure and more. So I think it's overall a pretty interesting app that Microsoft has worked on and of course they will improve it in the near future. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one from the TechBase channel. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.